everybody, how's it going? So just recently, last night, I got something new, which is right here. It's a MTX JH4512A car subwoofer. Um, picked this up from Fry's last night, ordered it online, and got a good deal on it. So pretty much in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the specs, uh, showing the sub around, and maybe I might have a little small demo at the end. Of course, um, I'm not going to play it for too long since I'm running it off a stereo amp, which I do not want to burn out. It says don't put anything below under 8 ohms, but uh, I tried it last night and it seems to run just fine, so I'm not going to play it for too long. So this thing is a 4 ohm subwoofer. Um, it's 250 watts RMS and 500 watts max. There's actually another version where it features dual uh, 12s, and that's 500 watts RMS and I think 1,000 uh, max. And that will run with between $200 and up. Um, of course, this is much larger and uh, much louder, but I got the single one since I got a good deal on it. <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, the enclosure is 3 uh MDF material, so it's pretty solid and light and very durable. Alright, so in the front, pretty much you've got your 12 inch 45 series jackhammer subwoofer, and um, also you get this nice black matte finish on the front. And with MTX audio you see on the top right. On the left side you have a uh, port and of course the speaker terminals and on the back pretty much nothing but it is slanted so it's pretty good if you were to put it in a sedan with uh, C-Star slanted but pretty much good for anything or any car I meant because it's rather small light and it sounds really good really loud. Of course it's not like a competition so for anything you know but it's a good price, uh, nice design, and I'd say good for the deal. Alright, so showing the left side, like I mentioned, it's got a side firing port and, of course, your speaker terminals. As you can see, I have very uh, thin cables in right now. I have much thicker ones, but um, I'm currently using them, so I'm too lazy to get them out. But these wires just do just fine. They're not exactly that small. They might look pretty small on the camera, but they're actually much larger in person. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure which gauge they are, but they do fine, so I'm just going to use them for now for a little bit. Now on the side, pretty much where the speaker terminals are, they note that are they are 4 ohms and probably not to put anything else in there. And yeah. And as you can see on the back, there is a slight slant. It's not too big of a slant, but it's slanted for, um, just like I said, for sedans or anything that have slanted seats in the trunk or something. But anyways, not bad of a design. Most uh, sofa for enclosures that I see that are pre-built come slanted. And so besides from the sofa, that is the box that it came in. Pretty much simple. Open it up. It's in a bag, a really large bag, and it's pretty much uh, very safely secured. Uh, one thing that there is no paperwork, no manuals, no warranty information, nothing at all. All you'll get is foam pieces. Not really foam pieces, just stuff to hold in the sofa for safely and the sofa, that's it. You'll get nothing else. Unlike Polk Audio, which comes with warranty information and, um, you know, specs and stuff. But anyways, all you get is one sticker on the side and another one on the other side saying this side up and, um, you know, pretty much saying what this item here is. Uh, 250 watts RMS, 500 watts peak, like I renoted, and single 12-inch vented 4-ohm sofa enclosure. That's pretty much all it says on the box. Alright, so another thing I want to mention is my equalizer settings on my laptop. That's pretty much going to be my music source since it produces more bass, cleaner bass than my iPod. And um, I like to use it more. So as you can see, that's my equalizer settings for Windows Media Player. And I'm going to be playing Yo Gotti featuring Lil Wayne called uh, Women Lie, Men Lie. Uh, I think that song has a nice amount of bass, so I'm going to play that first and I'll see if I'm going to play anything else. So yeah, i um, going to move on to the solo for now. Alright, so moving on to the demo now, um, of course I'm just going to mention uh, first that you're watching this on YouTube and I'm using a very standard mic on my digital camera. You won't hear what I'm hearing and um, it might distort, you might hear some vibrations from the stuff I have on the walls which are pretty much photos. But anyways, move on to the demo now. Um, let me see, let me just press play on the song. Alright, so yeah, at first I had the wrong song um, picked. Anyways, I'll slowly turn it up. Alright, slowly turn it up. 
turning it down. So yeah, it hits really hard. Um, sounds really good, solid. Now um, we're gonna talk a little bit about from what I've tried so far against uh, kicker comps and the Polk Audio DBs that I had a while back. Now I didn't really try these against uh, dual um, subwoofers at at Fry's. I tried the ones that had two jackhammers, and honestly, these actually sound the loudest. Um, I'd say Polk Audio would sound the cleanest. Kicker, it's, I don't know, just to me, I don't like it that much for some reason. You know, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just not my kind of subwoofer for that I would own personally. I'd either pick the MTX or the Polk Audios from what they carry. Of course, there's so many subwoofers out there to pick from, but just saying, out of those choices, that's what I pick. So, um, hopefully I can get some other stuff, you know, more pro audio. But unfortunately, like I said, usually my budget is not very high, and I got this guy for cheap. So, um, yeah, I guess let me see if I can pick another song and play that. All right. All right, so I decided to pick uh, Look At Me Now by Chris Brown. Um, I did turn it up a little bit higher here, and my uh, photo started to vibrate. I didn't want to fall, it, fall down, so I'm just going to turn it up slightly. That's it. All right, so the vocals are coming in, so I'm just gonna let it wait for a little bit till the bass comes in. All right, so actually that's all I'm gonna play. Um, sorry if it wasn't long or there's no voice or something, but that's all the best I can do, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, I'm sorry that I wasted your time. Anyways, if you guys got any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. I check daily and um, I'd be happy to answer them or read them. Alright, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching.